Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Foxier Mix 2 against the Runcam Split 3. Now, on the left, it's the Foxier Mix 2. And as you can tell, it's over sharpened. And I didn't notice that at the beginning when I had it on the bench. And this is it right now without any editing done to both of them. They are just the raw video files after the compression and the YouTube compression. So hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing here. Now, if you take a look at the writing on the motor and as well as the sun on the Foxier, you can see that the colors are just kind of a little bit off. It's into a bluish tint than the run cam split and it goes the same for the fpv feed as well now this is post process right now what i'm going to do to the fox here side it just decrease that sharpening just slightly add a little blur and it kind of fixes the issue with the over sharpening and the pixelation slightly but for someone who doesn't know how to do this stuff, it's just going to be more work to get a really great looking video. However, for the Runcam Split 3 Micro, I just slapped the video on and it just worked great. I don't really do anything to it. I'm leaving it default. You could slightly modify it to get it to look a little bit better, but it's just beautiful right out of the box. Obviously, you guys cannot see the full uh, image after the double compression that's going on or the double encoding because I do encode in Adobe Premiere. After the encoding, then YouTube encodes it and then you get to see it so in terms of hd performance i'd give it to the run cam split 3 in terms of latency and all these that'll be in the head-to-head -head comparison because i also have the uh run cam 3 nano on the way so i'll do those all together so you don't have to look through different videos in order to find it and um, i'm just gonna let you guys watch this real quick and then uh, we'll take it down on the bench and then discuss everything else So the Foxier Mix 2 is installed into this quadcopter here. Now I've had to record everything into 4K in order to show both the Runcam Split 3 and as well as the Foxier Mix 2 side by side without rescaling anything. So that was the idea here. Hopefully it's gonna come out as great as I think. So to install one of these boards in your quadcopter is actually really simple. For example, you have just a normal FPV camera such as this one that was installed. And obviously I had my camera wire. Now, if you take a closer look at the board here, you'll see a connector, a female type connector, but it does, it only has four outputs. And this is three, but that's totally fine because what you can do is bring it to the edge right here and just plug it in and just make sure you get this correct. As you can tell here, you could read this right there. It's kind of confusing because there is uh, five things that are mentioned here, but the bottom one here, it says VCC, which is the most bottom one here. And VCC is usually five volts. So for example, that red wire, then it's gonna go ground then video. So what you can do is just install it just to the edge. Now be careful not to install it more. As you can tell, I left that side open right there. And that's how I installed the board. I didn't have to do anything else. So if you wanted to change the settings, I've also soldered these wires right here. And uh, whenever I want to come in and change the settings, I just bring the remote. They provide you with the remote, unlike Runcam. Runcam actually doesn't give you the remote. So you'd have to use your own. And then you can access the menu and change it. Usually everything is good on default. However, when you receive it, it'll be possibly on Chinese. Mine was in Chinese. So I just kept playing with mine until it turned English. So as you can tell, it's a 20 by 20 and a 30 by 30. Now, if you just wanted it to be a static 20 by 20 and remove this extra layer of PCB, you can do that as well. However, I'd recommend you take a picture, especially if you're new, to remember what these actually say here. So you know what to do because you will remove this part here. And the way to do that would be to get yourself an X-Acto knife or some kind of a box cutter and just keep scraping these holes right here and then it'll eventually it'll just pop off but don't force anything take your time uh, because you could ruin the board obviously now in my opinion I think this has a lot of potential however hopefully there's a way to software update this or update the firmware through the SD card or something uh, to give us a different encoding profile and different settings uh, I think that's all it's missing they need to just tweak it out because it's way too bluish it was a very noticeable bluish tint and uh, the over it was over sharpening everything so right now this is not going to be the board for myself however for some other people it's going to be great also but then again you also have you know they're all in the same price range from the Foxier Mix 2 to the Runcam Split 3. They're both great. I'm not hating on the Foxier board here, but in my personal preference, I'd prefer the Runcam Split 3. And this is just saying from just seeing the video quality and actually using it. Uh, but it does have potential, but it does need some tweaking in order to get it as good as the Runcam Split 3, in my opinion. 
Um, other than that, it's very simple, basic board. You do have a microphone. The microphones are terrible on these, so don't expect anything great out of them. You know, if this board was slightly cheaper than the Runcam Split 3, then a really nice budget option, but they're basically the same price, just a dollar difference between them. And it does record at 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's how I did all of my recordings on both of them, which is their max settings. Now, if you're looking for the latency test, that's going to be upcoming. It's going to be into a more advanced tutorial for the people that actually understand this stuff because I'm figuring out that a lot of people don't really understand all that techie stuff that I do. So I'm trying to slow down on that or kind of compile all those informations into one videos. Uh, it'll be easier for everybody and uh, better overall, I think. And everything's linked down below if you can check those out. Those greatly support the channel. And come join my Patreon, guys. I have goggle giveaways and new Sky Zones OLED and just all those crazy stuff. So come join my Patreon if you do like this content and you do want to support it. And, well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.